What well, better way to start a home brew video than with a nice clear beer? Would you look at the state of that? Awesome stuff. Okay, let's run through what we've got. We've got uh, 1200 grams of Pilsner grains. 800 grams of Munich, which is a total of 2 kilos. And a Cooper's Australian Pale Ale kit. Sterling Ale Yeast, which is a new one I've never heard of. We've got an ounce of Cascade, an ounce of Centennial, 2 kilos of brown sugar. Let's do it. Oh yeah. And we've got a homebrew. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and our strike water is at 66, 65, so it needs to come up. We need to get that up another few points. Anyway, we'll get back to it. Rains pre-crushed. Looking pretty good. So I'm going to add those to this strike water, which I've got a paint strainer bag in there at the moment. And we are at 74 so I'll turn the heat down and add the grains. I'm pretty inexperienced with these things, but That is a pretty good consistency I'm thinking mini mash going on there and uh, we'll be back in an hour to see what we've got that's at 65 degrees yeah, close enough how's that for a nice clear beer right we're gonna sparge how we've got things sitting I'm just gonna try and sparge off as much as I can That's the colour of the wart of the uh, without the can of uh, extract. The reason I'm doing it with a can of extract is because it it's just a bit of a cheats way of doing it. It saves me um, boiling for an hour or 90 minutes depending on what hop additions you put in. It's a pre-hopped can and I'm going to add uh, an ounce of Cascade and an ounce of Centennial for a 15 minute boil. And uh, yeah, let's go. I'll be back when I add the hops. So, we've got our hop bag. ounce each of Cascade and Centennial. Just gonna dump them in the that Centennial. And I do it over the sink because it's a bit dusty. Because these hops have been stored for a wee while, so they'll probably lost a bit of their power. But that's okay. Loosely, loosely tie a knot in there. If I can. 
There we go. One hot bag with two ounces, an ounce of Cascade and an ounce of Centennial ready to go. Now, just hitting the boil now. Let's see whether we can keep it at a consistent boil. Let it steady off a little bit. Here's the hot break. Come on. Simmer down. Still a bit hot. The old element. Got a pretty vigorous boil going on there. And there we have it. Right, watch for the boil over. Two ounces of hops going in, 15 minute boil. Oh, we didn't do too bad. We didn't do too bad. Better take note of the time. Oh, it's one o'clock. So at quarter past one, uh, yeah, quarter past one. I'll come back and we'll get the hot bag out of there. And, um... will be infused with those lovely, lovely hops. And there's the hop bag. Let's just see what we got. Just draining out. Just draining out. We'll leave that for a couple of minutes. And we'll check our water that I put in the freezer. Oh yeah, that's nice and cold. So, we'll get back when we start adding uh, our sugar. We've got to add our can of uh, Cooper's Australian Pale Ale. Our 2 kgs of brown sugar and we'll be back right got our bits and pieces ready first things first to tip that One of our bottles of
temperature. So it's at 33 degrees. Now, what I'll do is I'll aerate that. Thirty degrees, and we're at fourteen liters. So I'm hoping that this is going to Okay, now let's have a look at what the yeast says. Uh, oh yeah, temperature range. We're within it, we're at the high end, but we are within it. shall see. Yeah, it's a monster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it up to 25 litres. That's 1.090. That's 
That's 1.090. That is insane. So I should have probably added one kilo of brown sugar, if any at all. Oh, you learn. You learn. Hang on. If I do... And we shall see what we've got now. One point oh seven oh, which is far better. the yeast. So, that's a freaking big beer. I mean, it started out 1.090, which would have been insane. It would have been somewhere around 10%, I'm guessing. Um, well, 9, 9.5. But anyway, we've, uh, we've managed to get an extra... Six liters out of it. Six liters extra out of it, and uh, here it is in the fermenter. There's my twenty liter mark. There's twenty five. If it stopped moving. It's got a bit of foam on top. It's pretty much 26. So I'll get four, four 1.5 litre bottles. That's this, these bottles here. These lemonade bottles or whatever bottles they are. I'll get four of those and a keg. Cheers for watching. 
do like, subscribe, follow. Cheers and 17.